Welcome to La Vida Rosa, I'm your host Pinky, and today we're going to talk about Married at First Sight. So if you'd like to see more, then just stay tuned. But before we begin, I would like for everyone to check out my website, LaVitaRosaStyle.com, where you can find cute accessories like the ones I'm wearing right now. The link is below, like, comment, and subscribe, and without further ado, let's get into this video. First of all, I know my eyes are really animated right now. <laughs> I kind of like, I feel like I did the most with my makeup today. Don't let this distract you. I'm sorry. What I want to say first to begin with is this season is winding down. Next week better be decision day because I really, y'all are really stretching this season out. Even though y'all gave us five bad matches. At, and I'm going to talk about that later on in this video. I'm sorry. It's five bad matches. Five people that should not have been matched up together. There have been seasons in the past where I've said, oh, this is a bad season. But overall, I still was entertained by the show. I still had fun reviewing the show. I still had fun watching the show. Even when y'all would say, oh, I don't even watch it anymore. I just watch your reviews. I, myself, I still liked to watch the show. Is my camera shaking? Back to what I was saying. Um, reviewing this show used to be fun for me and it's no longer fun anymore. And I don't, I find myself re like really not caring to watch the show one and two, like dragging my feet to even review the show, to even talk to y'all about the show. It's not fun for me anymore. It used to be fun and now it's not fun. I feel like every week I'm just like dragging people and I don't want to like drag people every week. I want to, I want to have a couple that we can root for. And I feel like by the end of this season, I feel like we don't. I feel like we don't even have anybody we can root for. I feel like when decision day comes, I want all of them to say no. And that is not fun for me. Say what you want to say about last season. Um, it felt like a fail, like during the season, but at the end it turned out, it turned out to be actually one of their best seasons they had, especially in recent years. I feel like last season is like one of their best of all time. Because when you look at Karen and Miles, even though they had a rough you know, journey, they are actually doing great. When you go look at their Instagram, they're actually happily married, or at least, you know, from the outside looking in, they look happy. The same thing for Amani and Woody. And I, if I'm not mistaken, Benny and Amelia are still together. Now, yes, there were two couples that did not make it, Brett and Olivia and uh, Christina and Henry, but I just feel like they just weren't the best matches in the first place three out of five ain't bad you know what I'm saying and so for this season for there to be none I feel like Married at First Sight needs to take some time maybe an entire year regroup switch production team something y'all need to do something seriously it's been the worst season of all time and it started with y'all bringing in Chris and it started with y'all matching people who have fundamental differences that are deal breakers so why would you actually why would you pair someone who has cats and loves cats with someone allergic to cats why would you pair someone who is religious with someone who is anti-religious <laughs> why would you pair someone who is direct with someone who does not like directness why would you even choose someone who doesn't like directness that's very immature you need to be direct for communication like there's I feel like that people should not he, have even been considered for this show let alone chosen and I know this is a long rant in the beginning but it, it just sets the tone for the entire review that's how I feel some of these people should not have even been considered let alone chosen and so it, it's like you're playing in our face. It's like you're playing with our intelligence. If this is what you're going to do next season, I don't even want to tune in. I don't want to support this show in any way. That's how I'm feeling right now, y'all. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it down below. With that being said, that's the attitude I'm going into this review with. Let's start with Haley and Jacob. I don't feel like Haley was ready to get married. 
She refuses to take accountability for her part in whatever goes wrong. Take the bracelet incident, for example. Instead of getting the bracelet and actually maybe wearing it, she just gave it to him in a package that was unopened, missing the entire point of why he was upset about the bracelet in the first place. She wants things the way she wants them. If they don't go her way, she's going to have an attitude and she's going to be passive aggressive. She's very passive aggressive. Very. Okay. She cannot say straight up what's on her mind. She got to sugarcoat everything. Even though she's clearly angry, she's going to, you know, she's going to get those eyes and she's going to, she was not ready. Okay. I feel like also she's a very superficial person and you can't be superficial and, and come on this show. And so therefore, I feel like that's another reason why she shouldn't have been chosen. She she can't get past the physical with him. She can't get past his style. She can't get past the fact that how she wants to present herself as a couple to the world. And he doesn't fit into that visually. So she can't even get into him as a person. And that's a problem. Jacob, I feel like, was all in. Somebody said this in the comments. Jacob didn't even care about what was going on with the other couples. He doesn't care nothing about nothing else but them two. Haley is the one who's like, hmm, what do y'all got going on? Jacob don't care nothing about that. He always going to bring it back to his relationship and what's going on between him and Haley. That's how I know he was serious. And that's how I know I feel like he was willing, like he went, when he, they say they wanted to reset, he actually was trying to reset. Whereas Haley, she's going through the motions. She's not even actually being present. She's not actually being vulnerable enough. She's not giving anything. So why are we here? Why are we, why, why, why are y'all continuing? I feel like this season should have been scrapped. I'm not even going to get into anything from them this episode. Cause what's the point? They both of them better say no next week. Both of them better say no. Haley better not fix her mouth to say yes. When you didn't even fix your mind to even try. Okay. Let's move on. Cause I'm not even. I usually ask, what do y'all think they'll say? I'm about to say what they better say. <laughs> they both better say no. Virginia and Eric. Virginia should not have been chosen. That's one of the people that should not have been chosen at all she's immature she's very stubborn she she does not want to change her lifestyle she wants to still be single and married at the same time that is not how that works she doesn't know what it means to be married because she hasn't seen any stable relationships in her lifetime from what she said she's never seen it so i feel like she even has an aversion to it i feel like she's sabotaging herself in a way you know what i'm saying i feel like she has a lot of work to do with herself. She says she's dealing with anxiety and, and she drinks. Drinking does nothing but aggravate anxiety. Why are you using alcohol as a coping mechanism? Why are you using, why are you self-medicating with alcohol? That's the questions you need to answer. That's questions you need to go talk to somebody about. And until she resolves those abandonment issues she has with her parents and you know the other issues i mentioned she doesn't need to be involved with anybody at all i feel like eric should not have been chosen he also has some issues that needs to be resolved when it comes to control and and having to have everything go his way and when things don't go your way oh i'm gonna give you an ultimatum or i like younger women because i feel like they're easier to control or I feel like my way is the right way and I'm unwilling to compromise or I already have my life planned out and I want somebody to just be boop dropped off in it. Maybe you need to go pick your own wife then. Personally, I think he needs to work through those issues before he gets with anybody. It, that's I feel like that may be the reason why your last marriage failed. You think you know everything. Clearly you don't because if you did, you wouldn't need to ask nobody to find you a wife. You would be able to find your own and have a successful relationship you act like you the expert every time you talk to her and then when they get together you have one you have one toxic person with another toxic person and they get together and we're and, and y'all surprised when y'all have toxicity and on top of that they're opposites she's liberal he's conservative 
in this day and age, I just don't see that working. <laughs> Especially with some of the things that we're fighting for, that's not going to mesh if you oppose my views. I'm not going to be able to go along with that. Hello? So, with that being said, the experts should have known based off, I mean, something as simple as a cat allergy versus a cat lover. That should have never been matched together let alone these serious, huge deal breakers that are staring them in the face. So no, I'm not going to discuss what happened with them this episode either. There's no point. They should have never been matched in the first place. And I need for them to say no, because the I can only imagine the toxicity that will come with them saying yes. Imagine if they had kids with that dynamic. Please, please. Please say no on, on, on decision day. <sighs> Ryan and Clara. Ryan and Clara, number one, should not have been matched based off of their religious views alone. That's a deal breaker. Anybody who's a Christian, most likely going to want another Christian. It is what it is. That's the way that works. That's just the way that works. Moving forward. Ryan being as withholding as he is and Clara giving with him not reciprocating. I just don't feel like that's setting a good foundation for them moving forward. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's setting the tone. I feel like in this relationship, it's going to be a lot of Clara giving and a lot of Ryan taking a lot of Clara changing herself to fit into who Ryan is as a person. Um, Because what has Ryan truly changed about himself? I think she even asked him about how he's changed. And he said, well, you know, the responsibilities of a husband. He couldn't. There's nothing really he could tangibly say that he's changed about himself. In this situation, he couldn't. But Clara sat up there and said she got him got her sleeping early and that's something that she's never done which isn't a bad thing necessarily but she's changed her sleeping she has to be more into she's had to be more intentional with her time and he even said well i'm turning you into an old soul like me i feel like she's doing too much changing of herself if that makes sense without ryan giving anything he's not really compromising anything at all and she's compromising everything okay she's giving 90 he's giving maybe 10. She's also not being honest. She's not being honest with her friends. Her friend asked her, what are some things that some challenges y'all have faced or whatever? And nothing. It's a 10 out of 10. That's being dishonest. Like she's being dishonest. I don't know. Maybe she's being honest off camera. Okay. But from what we've seen, Clara has not been honest with anybody. I don't know if she's, you know, as delusional as she's making it seem or she's just not being honest with them because you know Ryan wants to keep everything private I don't know but she's not being honest I don't think she's being as honest as she can be even with Ryan because I think she's feeling one way but she's sugarcoating it too much to him that he doesn't even see it as an issue and that's another way of like you know like denying herself that's like another way that she's changing herself because she said when she first started she was very outspoken and very you know say what's on her mind and she's not doing that now ryan he tells his friend oh i feel like we talk about emotions too much can we just not talk about emotions the reasons why she's talking about her emotions so much is because you said without trust without y'all building a foundation without you getting to know her better you the relationship cannot move forward she's trying to give you what you want to move forward but you're saying oh i'm tired of talking about emotion you're giving mixed signals she can't do any she can't do enough to please you and you being stubborn because you're not gonna give her what she wants because oh because you said something about it oh you a bad girl so you gonna have to wait even longer that's the way it feels 
So they go out on their last day. He goes on this long tangent about how they will always be like forever bound by this unique experience. And he wouldn't want it. To, he wouldn't have wanted to do it with anyone else, no matter what happens on decision day. And that hit Clara a little hard because she's looking for something deeper with you. And you're just like, well, whether we make it or not type of thing. And she's all in. And I do think they edited that scene to make it look worse than what it actually was. I don't think she actually walked out on him or anything. It doesn't seem that way because then we see them together in the next scene. So I don't think it actually happened like that, but I do think it made Clara like a light bulb go off like, oh, he's, you know, he might be considering, you know, saying no. When I think she's trying to convince herself over and over, like she wants to hear the words, I love you, but I think she's willing to even push past that and like, well, maybe he's giving me these actions that are showing me that and I was even going along with that. Well, maybe he does love her, but I don't know. I don't know. I can't read Ryan. I don't know. His actions don't make sense to me. Other than I know he's selfish and I know he wants things to go his way. But other than that, I just cannot read him. I don't even know what to say. Clara, I, I want Clara to say no. I want both of them to say no. I think they just need to, you know, cut their losses because I think in the long run, I think short term, they may be able to make it work, but I think long, long term, she's going to end up resenting him because she's going to go along with things she doesn't agree with and she's going to end up being bitter towards him. Brianna and Vincent, they were the ones I was rooting for. They were the only couple that we thought may have had a chance this season. And my cousin told me at the beginning when he had his first blow up, she told me, oh, no, I don't like this. I don't think it's going to work. And I'm sitting up here like in my mind, well, it only happened once. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. I'm not going to immediately say that, you know, Vincent is a bad person. I don't, I, and I still don't think Vincent is a bad person. But my feelings have completely changed about them as a couple and whether he's ready to be married to anybody. I, and I really hate to say this about them because I really wanted them to work. But she needs to leave him before I get ready to knock Vincent out. Before I want to give him an uppercut. Because the way he is interacting with her. The way he is so tit for tat. The way he is so sensitive and can't handle any sort of constructive criticism as a grown man. The way his ego is so fragile. If she did stay with him, she wouldn't be able to be herself. She wouldn't be able to be direct, which is the best form of communication. Because guess what? Oh, I asked for someone who wasn't direct. So what do you want somebody passive like you? Nothing will ever get done. Both of y'all will sit there and hold your feelings and hold your feelings and hold your feel feelings until one or both of y'all erupt like a volcano the way you do every other day. All she said was... You know, I thought I, I would have a problem with the fact that I'm more organized than you, but I realized that I could just be organized for the both of us. Someone who's disorganized should be jumping for joy. You know why? Because she's strong in an area that you're not strong in. But no, Vincent, he takes it as a personal attack, which tells me you have some inadequacies. Instead of dealing with that and dealing with the fact that you yourself have a problem with in yourself, you're going to turn around. Oh, well, because I because I feel like you're criticizing me. Well, guess what? During the ceremony, when they said they were bossy, that completely turned me off. What? And you're just now saying this because why? Because your, your little feelings got hurt. So because she called you out, you're going to sit up here like a, hmm, I don't like that you said that to me. Hmm. And that's why you get on my nerve. Anyway, you too bossy. Hmm. Hmm. It was a very childish. It was a very childish display to me. Even when you were telling your, your friend, your cousin, whoever about that. They were like, well, I don't even think the family meant it like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they meant it in necessarily a negative way. And honestly, the only thing that we've seen from Brianna that was truly bossy was the fact that she wanted you to wake up early. And I was on your side with that. 
But other than that, she wants you to, she wants to pull you out of your shell and, you know, like help you experience new things. You know, she keeps the house organized. She cooks for you. Um, there are just, we haven't even seen many instances where Brianna was truly bossy. Yes, she might like things a certain way. She might be very cleanly and organized, but we haven't even heard you complain about nothing else. So it just makes me think that you b brought this up simply to attack her with it. When they sat down for dinner, he admitted that when he gets overwhelmed, he shuts down and has an attitude, but yet he doesn't like to ask for help. So what is it that you want, Vincent? What do you want her to do in response to that? And my, my thing is, I don't think he has an answer. Therefore, you don't need to be with a partner. He cannot express himself. He cannot communicate. And communication is one of the, the most important things you can have in a relationship with anybody, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a romantic relationship, whether it's a work relationship. Communication is so important. And being direct is the best form of communication. And that's what she gives you. But you don't like it because it makes you feel it, it points out your insecurities. But that's not on her. That's on you. That's on you because I feel like she does. She doesn't do it in a disrespectful way. She does it in a way that tiptoes around your feelings and you still find a way to get butt hurt. So this is what I wrote down. He's incapable of being objective and he's ruled by his own feelings and perceptions and that will hinder him in every single relationship that he has. That was already the last straw for me. But what he did in this last scene, oh, I'm. I would have been y'all y'all don't understand how mad I would have been out a black woman in their hair we have a special relationship with our hair she already told you she spent at least $200 for those braids she told you that already you knew that this man took some scissors first of all he told her close your eyes I have a surprise and she was like like a cheesecake surprise meaning something happy that she loves clearly and he was like yeah and so she's got her eyes closed excited for something good to happen and he turns around and betrays her <laughs> I know this sounds so dramatic but y'all it, it means so much more it has so many more layers than you might think um he turns around and betrays her and does something like one of the worst things you could do to a black woman cut her hair without her permission on a hairstyle that she spent a lot of money on now he said oh I thought you were ready to take them down you know how that works and if you don't know how that works you don't just willy-nilly take your hair down as a black woman when you have braids in that's that's basically a, a all-day thing that's an all day thing because it takes a minute to take the braids down. Then you have to wash your hair. No, then you have to detangle your hair. Then you have to wash it. Like it's, it's, an, it's a, it's a whole thing y'all. It takes a whole day. That's not something I do right before I go to bed. And I just, for some reason, I feel like he knew better than that. Maybe he didn't. I don't, I don't care if he didn't. You don't cut nobody hair. You don't cut nobody's hair. What is it? Whoa. Y'all, let me calm down. Because I, he wouldn't have saw me again until decision day. He wouldn't have saw. You think you can storm out? Oh, no. I would have had to leave. Or I would have, I would have told some of his stuff up. Or I would have hurt him. Don't, don't ever touch me. Don't ever violate me like that. That is a violation. You cut my hair. I don't care if you cut my wig. I don't care if you cut anything that's not truly attached to my head that's growing out of my scalp. You don't cut my hair, period. And at the end when he left, he said, nice knowing you. Oh yeah, nice knowing you, buddy. Brianna better say no. Girl, you have gotten enough red flags. I know you attracted to him physically because that's the light skinned man that you wanted. I know that he is nice to you some of the time, but girl, those red flags outweigh any, any nice thing he's ever done to you. 
Those red flags, they've been punching you in the face this whole season. I feel like he's giving you enough to show you that is not a man you need. I'm so sorry. You could do better. And personally, he's another one I feel like that should not have even been chosen. He just got out of a relationship a few months before he got married. Why was he even chosen? This might not be the best review. I don't know. I just had to, I, I couldn't review it any other way because um, I just feel like this season was just poorly done, poorly put together. I'm disgusted low-key the contestants on this show were the ingredients but they were ingredients that don't go together it's like they put I don't know chocolate and tomato sauce and pickle juice and you know what I'm saying a bunch of things that don't go together and served uh, served it up to us on a platter and that is a dish that is nasty I don't want I don't want to eat that that's nasty and it gave me a stomach ache and I'm I'm sick because I even tried it. That's how I feel about it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this season down below. I would love to hear your opinion. Next week better be decision day. Or I'm not. Y'all won't see me. <laughs> Unless I go live. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in my next one. Peace.